Hey everybody, this is Sean Smith, the Pink Caddy Coach, and in this short video, I'm gonna give you two quick cures for phone fear. One with your mouth, and one with your mind. Stop barking. Now it's no secret that a lot of people really struggle with making phone calls, and it's usually because there's some kind of yucky emotional connection with not wanting to be pushy or the fear of rejection and so forth. So the first cure I have for you is something that you can do linguistically to avoid that emotional despair. So this first quick cure involves with the way you present information. It's important that you remove yourself from the offer. Because see, if you're not in the offer, if you don't put yourself on the table to be rejected, then if they say no, then that's okay because they're not saying no to you, they're saying no to this neutral offer. So you wanna stay away from things generally like my business or my products or let me show you what I have to offer. If you put yourself in the offer like that, then if they say no, it's going to be really easy to take that personally because you put yourself out there. But if all you put on the table is the outcome of the product or the benefits of the service, then if they say no, no big deal. Because the rejection isn't on you, it's about the outcome, it's about this neutral offer. Now, the more information that you have on people, the easier it is to do this. So for instance, if you're talking with somebody and she says that she doesn't like the wrinkles that are showing up on her face, then you could say something like, well, would you be interested in a way to remove the wrinkles and make you look and feel 10 years younger? If she says no to that, she didn't say anything about you. She's not saying anything about you know, your value as a person. She's just saying that she's not interested in looking and feeling younger. In fact, not only would you probably not feel bad, you would probably look at her sideways like, that doesn't make any sense. These are what I call crazy questions. How crazy does somebody have to be to say no to finding out about something that they just said they were interested in? So the more questions that you ask people and the more information you get about them and the more curious you are, the easier it's going to be to make offers that are based on their desires and not based on you and your opportunity or your products. Now the second quick cure that I have for you is really a mind shift that you've got to make with your energy, your beliefs, and your emotions. You see, most people freak themselves out when it comes to making phone calls because energetically they're focused on getting, they're focused on taking. Whether it's getting a booking or getting a recruit or getting a certain goal that you've committed to, the focus is on getting something. And anytime that you're focused on getting something, you inherently must be also focused on losing something because these are two sides of the same coin. You can't be focused on getting without also having the opportunity of losing. Now I call this the evil twin effect because every time you focus on getting or gaining something, there's always this evil twin of losing. So the mind shift that will cure this is moving from getting to giving. It's about coming from a place of service because service doesn't have an evil twin. In other words, if you show up to serve somebody and you're simply giving away something and they don't take you up on it, they don't receive this gift, no big deal because you didn't lose anything. The spirit of service avoids the pain of loss. And I know all of you intellectually know this, maybe you've even trained this. However, if you still create fear when it comes to making phone calls, then what that means is energetically, you really haven't gotten this yet. So understand how critical this is. The only way that you can even create the fear of rejection and the idea that you have something to lose is if somewhere deep down inside you, you're focused on getting or gaining something personal. But when you actually come from a place of service and it's the essence of who you are, then you understand that you are the one that has the gift. You're offering something and whether people receive the gift or not, it's not going to affect you emotionally at a deep level. So here's an opportunity for you to do a real honest assessment. Do you truly believe in the Mary Kay products? Do you truly believe in the business opportunity? Has your life been positively affected by joining Mary Kay? 
Because see, if you've answered yes to those questions, then you're doing people a disservice by not offering them the same opportunity that you had. So you resisting making phone calls is the most selfish thing you can possibly do. You're withholding this opportunity from other people. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to create a list of the top things that you love about this business. And the next time you go to make phone calls, I want you to read this list. And after you read this list, you're gonna feel like Santa Claus. You got all these gifts to share with people. And when you make a phone call, it's an opportunity for the lucky person on the other end of the line to experience all of these things that you've experienced in Mary Kay if they're interested in looking and feeling better with the products or changing their life with the opportunity. And if they say no, oh well. That doesn't mean they're rejecting you. It means that right now they're not interested in looking or feeling better or changing their life. No sweat, there's no need to get all emotional about it. Because listen, there are seven billion people on this planet. There are plenty of them who are interested and not only are they interested, they are seeking what you have right now. Your job is to answer the call and offer it to them. So I hope this short video and these two quick cures has helped you relieve some of the resistance or any of the fears you've had around making these phone calls. And if you've enjoyed this message, please like it and please share it. Now what I'd love for you to do also is in the comment section below, share with me your top three things that you love about this business that when you read right before you make phone calls, it's gonna put you into that Santa Claus mode, put you into the service mode, and help you avoid any of the fears that you used to create when you were focused on personal gain. Take care everyone, I'll come to you with another video real soon. It's really a mind chef. Chef. Mind chef. Stop barking. Ha, 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 ha.